is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a great day. Out here at National Golf, have a fun little challenge today. Gonna be playing a two ball scramble, two shots on every shot. See which one's the best, we'll take it from there. See if we can't take a low. Hoping to shoot 29. Seven under would be fun in a two ball scramble. Gonna be playing the front nine out here at Nashville Golf. Also wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much for all y'all's incredible support. Absolutely love creating content. Hope y'all enjoy coming along today. Number one, par four. 410 yards, pretty straight away par four here. There is water that runs short of the green there. So I will be laying back with the first one. If we're in good shape after the first swing, we'll be more aggressive with the second. Driver really isn't the play here, even with two swings. The first swing, I'm gonna hit a smooth four iron, try to get us in good shape. Second swing, I'm still gonna hit four iron, try to hit it a little harder, get a little further down there, close to the water's edge. Both should be in good shape. We've got two different angles. We'll go take a look. The reason why I didn't hit driver there is angle into this green is everything. If I hit driver way down to the right, the angle, even though it would be a wedge and hand into that green, there's water directly behind the pin. You're hitting back across the green, not a good angle. The four iron shot selection, even though we may have like a pitching wedge or nine iron into the green, lobbed our angle into the green. Probably gonna be going with the first one. I like that angle. Should be good shape there. We'll take a look. Here's the second one right here. A little bit on a side slope and a little further back, even though I thought I hit it better. There is the first one. I think that's going to be the one we're going with. Great shape right here. 140 yards left to a front pin. I've got gap wedge. Great shape right there. Here's the second one. And I would take those two all day, every day. Let's go. In great shape with the first one. Roughly 15 feet left for birdie. The second one did catch that one a bit better. However, it didn't really spin at all. Hopped there, back a little bit. We'll be going with the first one. All righty, we'll tap this in. Gave it a run. Par here on one. We have some patrons just gallivanting around on the green. What's going on, sir? Would have loved to have seen one of those putts drop. However, made par on one, all good. It's a tough hole. Was happy with both approaches in there. Anytime you putt for birdie on one, always an accomplishment. On to number two. Par four, straight away, 405 yards. Our aiming point's pretty much gonna be right down the middle. Since I play a butter cut, may take it right at that V tree. Tee it high, let it fly. Very happy with both those swings. They stay pretty straight, didn't really cut. I think the wind is pushing just a little left, but we picked a good target, executed the shot, both found the fairway. We'll go see which one is further. I do believe the second one looked to be just fractionally further, maybe by like a yard. I'm walking up here. They're both almost identical distance. My eyes were deceiving me. Here is the second one, and that is the first one. We'll be going with the first one, 125 yards left to a back pin. It's back into the breeze. I've got a pitching wedge, gonna try to flight it just a little lower.
Second swing there, not so great. That first guy is leading the way today. All right, here's the first one. There's where it landed. There's where it ended up. Roughly 12 feet left for birdie. See if we can't get the first pin slammer of the day. That was a good roll. Let's go. Birdie here on two. And that is what we were looking for right there. Birdie on two, solid start through two holes. Learned a little bit after that first one. Didn't leave it short on the second one, right in the heart. Let's go on to number three. Par five, 614 yards. There is a castle off kind of in the distance right there. That's gonna be our aiming point. Not our best two swings right there, but we shouldn't be in too bad of shape. So apparently we're going to get a baby draw right there. Uh, those are a little left, but not too bad. Should be close to the fairway. Probably not quite in the fairway. Probably just into the rough, but it's pretty much a three-shot hole today anyways. I know I didn't come here to lay up, but unfortunately into the breeze with it being wet. Yeah, we're, yeah. And these are almost identical. However, we are going to go with that one. That one is technically better. Well over 300 yards left. I'm going to hit a stinger. Let's just have some fun. That first one that I hit back there actually hit the ground right in front, kind of skipped off the ground. Hit that maybe a little too low. The second one, I did fight a little higher because it's really wet out here. Just want to have a little bit of fun with that layup. We're in the middle of the fairway. Should be a good little angle into the pin there and in good shape with a little lob wedge, maybe a sand wedge left. Let's go knock it close. All right, here is the second ball. Great shape. First ball was right over there. 105 yards left, sand wedge in hand. I'm gonna walk up to the green, put the camera behind the hole so you can have a little better vantage point into the green there. Hopefully we keep these in frame, not going close, get another birdie. Drop down in the comments though real quick. Tell me a great, fun memory that you've had on the golf course. Love to hear some stories. I've gotta go with my only hole in one that I've had in a legit round of golf. It was back probably six months after I started playing golf. 191 yards down in Jekyll Island, Georgia. Five iron, just absolutely flushed it. I was playing with my grandpa. My grandpa said, oh, hit it over the green. I was like, there's no way I hit it over the green. I can't hit a five iron that far. Looked everywhere, looked in the hole. There it was, that was fun. Second one here, I definitely hit a little heavy. We'll be picking that one up. First one in good shape, pin high, roughly 15 feet. We'll tap this in for the par. Are here on three. Read a little too much break into both of those putts. Might have also hit them a little firm, but not too bad. Pace is pretty good. Made par on number four. Par four, 425 yards. Little dog leg to the right. Green sits off back in there. Our aiming point off the tee is going to be that cart path you see kind of middle of the fairway there. You know what it is.
Both should be in good shape right there. Couple good tempo drives right there. Both found in the fairway. However, I hit the first one a little better. That's probably gonna be the one we're going with. I watched back the clip as I was walking up here. You can see that ball for a long ways. I don't even know if I'm gonna overlay a shot tracer on that because I thought it looked pretty cool. Alrighty, this is the second one and that is the first one right there. It's gonna be the one we're going with. 140 yards left to a middle pin. Let a couple guys play through, and they threw some darts. Great shot right there. Just a few feet left, a few feet past. And how about this one shot? What? He just tagged the pin. That was amazing. Replay. Tag the pin. Let's go. Letting a couple guys play through. Did you just see that wet shot? He just tagged the pin. How about that wedge shot right there? Do a little dance around the hole. Have that left for birdie. There's the first one. We're going with the second one. Tweeter here on four. That's what I like to see out of the wedge game. Two under through four on a number five, par four, 376 yards. Going to be playing aggressive, teeing it high, letting it fly over that corner. Should be able to get up there close to the green. Let's give it a rip. Hit that first one really well. Tried to get after that second one a bit too much and left that hanging out right. First one should be in good shape. All right, here's the first one. Great shape, a lot of green to work with, good placement. The second one was somewhere right over in there. I think it plugged, couldn't actually find it, but no worries, in good shape right here with the first. I landed those well short and they were releasing towards the hole. Didn't quite get it all the way to the hole. However, you don't want to go past this hole. The putt down the hill is very difficult. So rather have six, seven, eight feet coming back up the hill. Great shape right there. Chose to go with a pitching wedge. Probably wondering why pitching wedge. While I was on that upslope, if I chose a lob wedge, would have added loft being on that upslope. So it would have turned that into like a 65 degree, which can get very difficult to gauge how far that ball is going to fly. I'd rather take less loft, kind of de-loft it, and let that ball roll and release towards the hole. Let's go birdie on five. Hit that first putt just a little bit through the pace, learn from it, and drop the second one. Three under through five on number six. Down the hill, 135 yards. These are the tees further up. The vantage point from back there, the tees, that, the blue tees that we're playing, not great. Can't even see the surface of the green, so we're going to play from the green tees here. 135 down the hill.
You might be wondering why I chose to go with the three quarter gap wedge instead of a full sand wedge. I don't really like swinging all out at wedges. The consistency off the face and distance control can differ big time. So I'd rather swing smooth with the wedges, even though we're a little long just past the hole, good misses. The misses are gonna be much more controlled if you take a little bit off those wedges. Swing smooth, folks on tempo. Alrighty, gave it a run, didn't leave it short, tapped this in for par. It's a three here on six. Three under through six, still have an outside chance at a 29. The par five seventh is next. Gonna need an eagle there to keep those hopes and dreams alive today. We can do it. 591 yards back down the hill. Our aiming point's gonna be kind of that knoll there, that little corner of the fairway. The green sits off back in there. Little dog leg left. Yes, sir. That first drive is exactly what we drew it up. The second one, not so much. Kind of tried to go after it a bit. Wanted to be a little aggressive. Left it out to the right just a little bit, but that's okay. First one's in good shape. This is a great drill to get out onto the course. Get a little on-course practice. If the course isn't too busy, you're not holding anyone up. Play a two-ball scramble. See how low you can go. Get used to making some birdies. And get used to playing some shots a little more aggressively to see what the likelihood is of you to pull that shot off. Alrighty, a little backspin there with the driver. A little ways home, roughly 280 yards left. The green sits off kind of back in there. We're gonna hit hybrid, see if we can't get it up there close. That one might've been too aggressive. Tried to go right at it, didn't quite get it over those trees. All right, so I played that one aggressive too, but hit it a lot better. That one's in good shape. All right, here's where the second one ended up. Great shape, 35 yards left to the hole. First one was back in the creek back there, unfortunately. Good shape here with the second one. Let's get it up and down. The outcome of those two chips was very different. First one was very good, second one was very not. However, we've got a birdie look. Let's go all the way around, good putt. Moves us to four under through seven, two holes left. See if we can't finish strong. Been getting some comments about these shoes down here. Yes, these shoes have seen a lot of golf rounds. Um, yeah, a little dirty. However, didn't really wanna bust out new shoes with all the rainy conditions I've been playing in lately. These right here are very comfortable and keep my feet dry. So that's why we're still rolling with them. Number eight, par three, 190 yards straight back up the hill. And it started to rain with the humidity level. It's a little cool. I've got six iron. All right, second one was a little better than the first one. 
this rain is really starting to come down now. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm in Scotland. This is uh, reminiscent of the Scottish weather. Absolutely love it. Always pumped to be out on the golf course, even in the rain. And uh, didn't bring an umbrella out here. So yeah, we are gonna go roll the rock now. All right, there is the pin. There is the second shot and there is the first shot. We're going with shot number two. Tap this in for the par. All right, that's a three here on eight. Hope you all have enjoyed coming along. This has been so much fun. Four under through eight, one hole left. If you have enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. That'd be greatly appreciated and subscribe as well if you haven't already. Can't thank y'all enough for the amazing support that y'all have shown here on the channel. See if we can't end with the bird. Tee it high, let it fly. Number nine, par four, 390 yards, placed down the hill, pretty straight. There's the green you see off in the distance. Let's let it rip. We've got two angles into the green there. We'll go see which one's better. If you've watched past videos and seen me play this ninth hole, you know I don't typically hit driver. However, the conditions are very wet. I do think the ball's gonna hold hitting a short wedge shot onto the screen where the pin is. So that was the reason why we went with driver. Conditions definitely can play a factor in the club selection off the tee. All right, here is where the second one ended up. Not a great angle. The first one is actually, I don't know if you can see it in the fairway over there. It's right there. Pretty good shape right there. Going to be going with the first one. Here's what the shot looks from behind the ball. I'm going to go set the camera up behind the green so you get a little better vantage point. And now y'all see why I don't hit driver here on nine. Not an easy shot. That first one landed on the fringe over there and kicked all the way off the green back over there by my bag. And the second one y'all saw, it went in the bunker. Tried to get it super close to the edge of the bunker. Didn't get over it. We've got to get this up and down. That bunker shot, not too difficult, but this is much easier chipping back up the hill. That was a little firm. <laughs> oh, I thought we had it on the second one there. We'll tap this in. That was so much fun. Finished at four under, four birdies, five pars, and that is the two ball scramble here today for you. And I'm just kind of rambling. So until next time, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.